we're just we're going to kick it off here this morning now, and we're going to try and keep it going as quick as we can because I know everybody wants to get back outside in the sunshine. Um, I suppose the first thing to say is just welcome to everybody um, on behalf of St. Catherine's and the Carlo Chatter Network. Um, we're delighted to stage the event here today, um, and the event here is part of the National uh, Traveller Pride Week. Um, I'm just going to start with thanks. Um, we have a lot of people to thank for, uh, for the event today, a lot of people involved. Um, first of all, I'd just like to thank the members of the Carlo, Tra Carlo Traveller Network, um, and that includes uh, Josie O'Leary, uh, Theresa Ryan, uh, Emmett Hogan, Elizabeth Flynn, and Mary Connors, and Mary will be our MC um, for today. Um, a big thanks also to Dermot, Amanda and John from the County Museum. Um, they've been a huge help. And just to say as well that um, we've been speaking with Dermot and kind of what we're having today is what we hope is the start of something that we can do every year and make it bigger and better with the help of the museum. Um, I'd also like to thank the Carlo Traveller Interagency Group and the Department of Justice for supporting us today. Um, a big thanks as well to the uh, NAV and Traveller Workshop, which I think most people have had a chance to have a look at, um, for bringing the Living History Project here. Uh, I'd also like to thank um, the staff here in St. Catherine, and particularly the staff on our Traveller Programme team, and the lads will introduce themselves now in a few minutes. Um, I'd also like a big thanks as well to Mrs. McVeigh um, for agreeing to launch the, the day today, and also Mrs. McVeigh has contributed um, a lot of the items that we have here today, so thanks very much. Um, and finally, I'd just like to thank all the group participants who are on the various travel programs we have here in St. Catharines. Um, so, uh, a big thanks to you. Um, I'd just also like to mention um, today Margaret Wooters. Um, I think most people know Margaret. Um, Margaret's our senior community development uh, worker for the travel community. And as most people know, Margaret has been off on sick leave for a while. She can't be with us today. Um, she can't be here in body, but she's definitely here in spirit. Um, and Margaret, she keeps up today with everything that's happened in St. Catharines. Um, so we'd just like to wish her well, um, and we look forward to welcoming Margaret back very soon. Um, just to move on then, um, as I said, we'll tell you a little bit about the Traveller programmes very quickly, but I also just want to tell you a little bit about St. Catharines and some of the other services. I just want to make sure that people know, you know everything that we're doing, and if there's any services that people are interested in, just talk to any of the staff members here today and we'll tell you more. But just very briefly, uh, we have a childcare service here in St. Catharines and we're enrolling for September. Uh, we're opening a new childcare facility now on the Kenny Road. So again, we're taking enrollments for that. Um, we have our Moving On program for young mothers, which starts in December. We're taking enrollments for that. Uh, we have community and parental education programs here, including the Learning for Everyday Life, and we're enrolling for that. As you can see, we're enrolling for a lot of things at the moment. Um, we have our Teen Parent Support Programme, which now covers counties Carlow, uh, Kilkenny and South Tipperary. We have our Meals on Wheels service and we have socially monitored alarms. So if anybody's interested in any programmes, please talk to us afterwards and we can tell you more. And just to mention as well, we have two new programmes that started this year. Uh, one is the Once We Work and the other one is the Crew Programme. And we have some leaflets around as well so uh, you can get more information on them. So listen, uh, that's me. Thanks a million for coming everybody and we really hope you enjoyed today. Um, and I'm going to hand you over now to Mary. Hi everybody. I, mean, I think everybody, most of you know me. I'm Mary Connors. I'm a development worker for the Travel Community here in Carlo. And I'm filling in for Mag Routers till Mag comes back. Mag is a great woman, loves all humankind and a big heart. And she would have loved to be here today. And my work entails, anyone come in and I give out information on accommodation, even if you want to just come in for a chat and get a load off your mind, I'm here as well. Um, and um, I would like to give great thanks to my groups, my lovely ladies, which I'm very proud of and very eager to learn. And I'd like to thank Josie O'Leary for her time and Noak Berry and Wack Berry for his time. And I'd like to thank the Living History for their time and I hope everybody has a great day and it's great to have this in St. Catherine's Community Centre, Traveller Pride, and it's great to be a traveller. Thanks very much. Yeah. Um, I want to invite, um, uh, can I invite Theresa Ryan up please to talk a little bit on the network?
Hello and welcome to everybody. Most of you here would know me anyway. Um, I'm Theresa Wright and I'm a member of Carlo Traveller Network. Um, just a little bit about the network. The network is a representative organisation for travellers in County Carlo. We work to make sure that traveller voices are heard in the county. For example, members of CTN sit on the Traveller Interagency Group and the County Council's Local Traveller Accommodation and Consultative Committee. Our current members are Josie O'Leary, Elizabeth Flynn, Emmett Hogan, Mary Connors and myself. Um, we are always looking for new members to join the network and make us a stronger organisation. The network and St. Catharines has put a lot of work in organising today and we're really happy to welcome you all here today and we hope you have fun and enjoy it. Thanks. I'd also like to give thanks to my work colleague and friend Alex Moore and Annie Dell, Winnie, Bridget, uh, Kathleen and Michelle, which are a great team of girls. And I'd like to officially invite Miss McVeigh up to launch our Traveller Pride Day. This is a great woman, lads. She's worked with travellers and helped them all her life. So can you please come up, Miss McVeigh? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> well, we've all come here today to celebrate the rich cultural heritage of the travelling people, handed down from generation to generation. I'm very honoured to be invited by the travellers to open this exhibition. I would like to congratulate everyone involved in St. Catherine's Community Centre for setting up the exhibition, particularly Nile, Edel, Mary, Alex, and all the team who put a great deal of work into organising this Carlo Traveller Club. <coughs> we can see here today a great wealth of traveller culture passed down from generations, which is a heritage to be proud of. For example, the horse-drawn caravans, the bar-top wagons on display, so skillfully constructed and decorated. And we are very happy, happy to welcome Michael McDonald and Jerry Berry and Francie O'Leary who have brought the, the caravans here today and not only brought them but actually constructed them. Later on we will have a four-wheel cart uh, made by the Cassidy family <laughs> and uh, we're looking forward to seeing that. It hasn't arrived yet but it will be. Oh good, it is here with us. <clears throat> also on display is the work of the tinsmith, coppersmith. Tom MacDonald has a beautiful display out there and is actually demonstrating the, the tin work. It's, it's most interesting. Now, a lot of um, copper work has, you know, has been uh, made by the travellers in Carlo. And uh, on display here today we have some of Paddy Donahue's work. Now Paddy is uh, widely recognised for his work and has actually won a prize at the National Craft Competition in Dublin, which was no mean achievement. A, a video of Paddy making a copper bucket from a flat sheet of copper uh, can be seen here now today with the display. Uh, Paddy's niece is with us at the moment, Winnie, and we hope to have Paddy later on. <clears throat> And in the past, we've had many traveller men doing copper work at home before the training centre started. We had Jerry Berry, whose son Jerry has the caravan here today, and uh, he, he was a brilliant coppersmith. And his brother Johnny, who lived out in Castle Dermot, he was also excellent at it. Now, uh, there is a picture of Luke Power there, who uh, also did uh, copper work. The, it's, it's a great gift and a wonderful gift that has been handed down to the travellers over the years and we appreciate it and we're very proud of it. 
We also have a, a, a DVD of the Traveller Women speaking gammon, and uh, I'm sure everyone here will be interested to hear that. We are <coughs> later hope to have some singing from Celine O'Leary, Nan Berry, and Mary Connors. So we look forward to that. <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> We also have some very interesting video demonstrations, including um, horse shoeing and tin smithing. The skills of the fortune teller and the storyteller are very much part of the traveller culture, and there will be demonstrations of these in this event. So we have a, we have a wide and varied exhibition of the talents that have been handed down over the years. The, um, the traveller culture and history is rich and varied and we are delighted and proud to be a witness to it today. Once again, I would like to congratulate the team for this splendid exhibition, bringing the past traveller history and culture to life. A special thanks to Niall, the Community Centre Director, for facilitating this event. Without his support, this celebration of traveller culture would not have been possible. It just remains for me to say, enjoy the day, and I now declare Carlo Traveller Pride Event Living History officially open. <laughs> I'd like to invite Alex and Edel to come up and say a few words about your projects, please. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I know a lot of faces around the room, and I'm sure you know my face, but for those who don't know, my name is Edel Kyo, and I coordinate the primary health care team here in St. Catharines where we operate a drop-in facility two mornings per week and we're also a member of the network in the southeast to which eight primary health care teams belong. So this morning I want to just invite you literally to drop into us if you have any of your health needs or health appointments that need to be changed or you're concerned about your medical card or any other medical health issue. So I just want to introduce you to the team, because I'm only part of the team. So we have Winnie Cassidy, we have Kathleen Kerrigan, Bridget McCarthy, and Michelle has a new job for the day. She's on IT today. So that's the fourth meeting I Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Alex Morlan and I'm the Traveller Men's Health Worker in Carlow and Kilkenny and I'm really excited about the day today because it's such a long time since I've seen so many Traveller Men and as you can imagine when you're a health worker and you're trying to engage with Traveller Men it, it can be quite a challenge but it's also a real joy and um, an eye-opener for me to travel around both counties Carlow and Kilkenny and to meet the men and to hear what's going on in their lives. Um, the display today really, to me, tells the story about travellers and traveller men and the gifts that they carry. They are really deep hidden gifts and a lot of the time people don't see them. And as a health worker, there's a lot of things that people don't see about traveller men. And I'm privileged to have the opportunity and the chance to spend time with them and to listen to their stories and to offer an ear of hope and encouragement and, and care. So as a health worker, I'm also like Edel, delighted to welcome any man into the office. I have an office here in St. Catharines. I also work in um, Kilkenny and sometimes in um, O'Loughlin Court in Kilkenny and sometimes down in Ross Berrican and I travel around the county a good bit. But as part of the work, you'll all notice that we have a little camper van out there in the corner which has been newly acquired and 
it is, um, it's, it's part of our outreach really to the men who don't come into the centre, who don't come in here to St. Catharines. And it's, I only have it a week, and already after the first week, I'm, I'm really excited about the van and the opportunities that it will provide us with. Are you bringing any girls with you the van? Well, the, the, only, the only girl allowed into the van at the moment is Mary Connors. <laughs> I have to also say my, my wife and daughter are standing in the back of the car. <laughs> so if anybody would like a lift in the van, just, just come in to me in the office and we'll talk about it. <laughs> but, um, the, the, van, the van is a wonderful gift to have and honestly God it's great to have it and I look forward to getting to meet more men and sadly the men are a little bit shy about coming in looking for help but the women really and it is down to the women sadly to encourage the men and to send them along and if you have concerns or worries or anything about any of the men in your lives or any, any men that you know it's always good to know because I love talking and I love visiting people and I love drinking tea and I was only supposed to say two lines, wasn't I? Oh, some, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. For I know the whisper is a place of great fame and it lies to the north and I'll tell Oh, sure, I courted a weaker, and her age was nineteen. She was the handsomest we lads my two eyes ever seen. She had cheeks like red roses. On the banks of the fight, I was young, wild, and foley, like the rest of the boys. But yet, many sorrows are too many joys. I worked hard for a living. Are no more need I tie far away from lovely Jerry on the banks of the fight. Oh, sure, when I make my fortune, it is home I will go. And that sweet girl I know, I will build her a mansion, all on the Irish side, and we'll call it lovely dairy on the banks of the five. That was my father. Woo!